Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hi, and welcome. Um, I'm going to be showing a little bit about New Moon wish books today and a few little other tidbits. I love the New Moon because it's just that time of like grocery store shopping or just shopping the you know universal catalog is just amazing. So let's begin. I like to keep things simple. That way when you learn the new skill it's simple to begin with and then you can add on to it. So to make a new moon book you need paper. So let's just use a couple pieces here. My suggestion is make sure that you have enough pieces of paper in your new book. So we'll use at least six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That gives you your 12 months. Then if you want a cover page or say a middle page for notes or something, you know, you add on. You can make your covers any way you want. There's so many different ways to make books. I have like a little finished one here. I did this one really quick. I just put some fabric on it, some little like Julie's, you know, and then it has all the months in there. I did like a little quick write up thing, put a feather in there, but we'll get to that. So, take the paper, put it in half, you know, simple, simple stuff. You can decorate it, you new know, wishes. Uh, put the stars on it, uh, draw markers, and paints here. Um, if you use paints, my suggestion is maybe use a water uh, based water based um, paper because it just soaks it up better and kind of holds it better. Um, when this paper gets wet, as you can see, like even with glue, kind of like, does it like ripple effect. As you can see, like inside here. It's kind of done that, but I like that look because when I add on to it, I'll take paint and give it like an older look or whatever. Um, I'll be adding more on to this, like lacy and stuff like that. But this was just like a simple basic book just to show it, you know, it's, it's soft, it's silk. And uh, I put some dollar store, you know, the bejeweled. You can use real, cri real crystals if you like. So your new moon book, you know, you decorate the front and then you open it up. And you can have your dedication page or your name or something you want to write, like a little poem. Um, just something that you know you think is lucky. So you can use a feather. It's a feather, there's big feathers, little feathers, little scroll messages if you want. That won't fit in there or whatever, but um, or any symbolism. If you know anything about sigils, um, if not, I mean you can look it up, that's either on YouTube now or I'll, I'll put a video up um, sometime soon. Um, once you know what a magic seagull is, um, you'll always want it. I'm telling you, they, they work beautifully. So you got your new moon book. You're going to write out your wishes. So that's why I made this book. So I just gave up, you know, like... You know. So you put the date and you put the new moon. Sometimes if you want, you can put like what's over in the corner. So I have some things here. I put um, four forest... Um, I, I would like to not worry so much about money anymore because I'm always worried about money because I'm always like making sure that I have enough for everybody because I give the charities and stuff and I just want to make sure I can keep up on that. Um, good health, loving relationships, sense of securities, uh, successful businesses, um, to quit smoking, which I'm doing by the way. Um, I was asking for a new vehicle. That's what I'm going to be asking for with this new moon, you know, and success for my children and dreams. I mean, like, these are just, like, simple things I was trying to think of, like, relating that what people would, would also be using it for. Um, I mean, you couldn't call a new love. I mean, any, it's a catalog. Don't limit yourself. So, the first month goes by. So, next month, we, we do a, a time travel here. We go a month ahead. And we're going to go through our list, and we're going to look at it in the area of the new moon. I try to do it three days before the new moon so then I can think about it for the next couple of days and then on the new moon I know exactly what intentions I want to write. So through this one say um, I'm hoping that the quit smoking sticks. I think it will. I'm pretty pretty determined. I don't want to smoke no more. 
So next month, what I would do is, I don't cross anything off. That's a big taboo. And then the next month, what I'll do is I'll go on the next page, and I'll write out the same things again, and even add more if I've thought of more things in between those 30 days, and I'm sure that happens, and omit, like, don't write the things that have come true. So, so next month I write, let's say, you know, loving relationships. Um, maybe this time I want something specific. I would like a loving, supportive relationship. Uh, when it comes, when it comes to managing uh, the healing forest. And you know what, I'd probably go as far as to um, relationships, so I'd probably add S because I'm looking for a group or a community to help run the healing forest, right? And I want good people, so that's my intention. Um, I go back here, a sense of security, see that sense of security, I should have been more specific. I want a sense of security in the family and the friends and the supportive relationships that I'm finding for my healing forest. Um, if I wanted it for my business, then I would say, you know, I want specific, these kind of relationships fill, forming and building. And don't hold back. And if you happen to go to the next page and you end up filling the whole book, say, and you're like, oh my gosh, I want a whole bunch of stuff. That's okay. Next month, do it again. Get out another six pieces to 14, I mean, seven pieces of paper, your, your 12, 12 months plus your cover, and uh, start it all over again. And eventually you're going to see that the list is getting smaller and smaller. And the beautiful thing is when you're looking back, um, you can go back and back and back, because I have new moon books and stuff um, that I, I've kept for years and years. And sometimes I just like going back and looking and saying, wow, like I really was trying to manifest this. And it came into my life and it's like, I'm so grateful for it now. So that is the last part of this wish book is that when you go on to the next month and you're writing it, um, make sure that you're always saying thank you. Thank you for the things that have come in. The very first month that you're writing, thank the universe and thank whoever it is that you know, you're writing for your intentions to the universe, to the great creator, to the great spirit, um, you know, whomever it is that, that feels right for you. To the goddesses whatever um, make sure that you're you're when you're writing that you know it's going to come true hold that feeling it might take you a little bit of time to write this out but you'll get this and you know it, it'll become such a fluent thing it'll be like if you're journaling or anything like that it will be just like that so i guess that's time that was my uh, phone going off it's time. Um, or do I trim it? I could probably trim it. So just make sure that when you're writing it, that you're saying thank you. Um, you can thank whoever it is that you pray to, or you know your intentions are set for. The universe, great spirit, um, the goddesses, whatever that feels right for you. As I said. Um, but on the, like I said, the first month when you're writing, write like you know that you're getting it. So have gratitude. Take that time to have the intention. Um, physically see it. Try to feel it. Um, there are good exercises to use for visual visualizations. Things like um, a basic one for in beginning of magic is an apple. Um, picturing an apple in your hand, what it looks like. Is it a red apple? Is it a green apple? Is it your favorite kind of apple? Can you smell it? What does it taste like if you, you know, take a little tiny bite? Is it sweet? Is it tart? Can you feel the skin of the apple on your lips? Can you feel the juices in your mouth? Do you want to take a bigger bite of the apple? I don't know about you, but my mouth is watering right now. So. I know that I'm probably going to pop an apple in pretty soon into my my field and my awareness because I was just quickly doing that. 
And those are really simple ways of visualizations and taking it to that next level. I know people have that hard time with visualizations. I just can't think it and feel it. I can think that I want it, but to actually feel it is hard for me. So I always say start with something simple and apples are very simple. Or if you know, if you don't like apples, use a piece of fruit that you really enjoy, whether it's a banana. Um, but I try to try to stick with something like that's hard and crisp and has a lot of juice to it because that really gets your imagination going and flowing. So that is just a quick new moon wish book. Feathers or antennas. So my suggestion is get a feather in there. If you want to stick crystals on there, you can. You can do design patterns. You can do anything that you want. If you don't want to put new moon on it so nobody knows it's your secret little book, it's all up to you. Whatever you do, it feels right for you. It works for you. It's perfect. Now for a little extra bonus, I thought I would throw in this. Pine cones. You see this? That is the secret geometry right there for you. I had to look over to my computer. The secret geometry. This is an instant wish manifester. Let me tell you. It's got seeds. It floats in water. It burns. It can do so many things. So, pine cone, very, very powerful little magical tool. If you want wishes, you can take little pieces of paper. You can take natural paper. This is birch. You can see that birch. And you can write your wish on it. Let me see. Let me see. Let me wish for a million dollars. Wish for, how about like five million? Alright. I'm going to put money. I got a star there. What else have I got? I've drawn to a couple of swirls. I'm going to bring it in. So I'm going to do it clockwise. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If we think about this, oh, what would it feel like to win five million and get five million bucks? Woohoo! Holy shit balls! Yeah! Everybody want a freaking party! <laughs> yeah, that's how it would feel for me. You put that intention. Oh my gosh, I'm like shaking. Um, that's how much energy I put into them. And you can just stick it in. Look at that. You're going to wish there. You can go release that in nature. You can go toss into a lake, a river. You can throw it into a fire. Again, whatever you feel called to, whatever element that you think that, that feels right for you. If you don't have pieces of paper around or you don't want to use birch leaves or anything like that, you can also take your little mighty pen and you can write something in here or you can draw a symbol. I don't suggest painting or anything because I want this to naturally biodegrade and uh, acrylic paint especially has plastic in it. It's not good for environment. So I tend to use like water-based paints or natural paints that I, I've made from the earth. But yeah, you can just write little things in there and be like, money, 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 woohoo, look at that, bring me the money. Let's see, the loving relationships I was asking about earlier from the human forest. Oh yeah. It's pretty cool. I'm going out later, so I'll finish the video off and I'll pause it. Maybe, ooh, maybe we'll go down to the falls. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'll see what I feel like. But it's drawn to. Um, it's been pretty busy down at the falls this year, even with the pandemic, and uh, I'm keeping uh, social distancing, so I'll make sure that I do this in a good place. I might even just go over to the wooded area and do it. There's a little creek over there too. So there's that. And then people do a lot of mirror affirmation, and I thought I'd address this. Dollar store mirror. Do, 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 do. These are also from the dollar store. These are glass writers. You can just use regular markers. Um, even permanent markers wash off. I use this mirror for all kinds of things. Um, you could do like magical workings on it, but that's a whole different video. So let's see. I need use gold. Because let's see. I asked for five million dollars. So um, I'll say. Something like a good affirmation to be, I am receiving all I need from the universe 
great. And then maybe at the bottom I'll put some like, I am loved, guided, and supported. Now, I've actually worked with some people and we've done like the whole mirror. They put it up on their wall, they read it every day, um, and just over and over. And then every new moon, they wash it with salt water. Um, just a little bit of salt in there though because you, you'll get residues and it's kind of different than just crossing it because when you cross something off and you're just like putting an extra when you wash something away and the intention's washing away um, it's washing it again into the universe so there's all these neat ways of how you can put your intentions and wishes out to the universe and these are just a couple of them that I thought you might enjoy so safe journeys and many blessings. I've had a lot of fun making these videos. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.